If you've been around for a while, you know that every Laurel Studio planner is packed with features designed specifically to help you set goals and pursue them throughout the year. Well, the mid-year planners have some new additions that I'm so excited to show you. It also has a completely redesigned sticker set, so let's jump in and take a look together. When you first upload your planner, you'll see this cover page. Now this becomes the thumbnail in your digital library. So I also include as a special bonus, a collection of a few different cover pages that you can use just to find a cover that really fits your aesthetic. We swipe over here. This is the information section of your planner. It's the perfect place to get started, especially if you're new to my planners. It links out to a series of videos that I have to help get you up and running if you're brand new to using digital templates. And I now also have an expanded tour of the planner so that you can really get familiar with all of the different sections. You can see we'll start with overview and navigation to understand what all of the icons do in your menu. And then we can jump over and learn more about your dated calendar pages and how those work together. Then you have a full description of all of the planning and bonus pages. And then we jump into the Goal Clarity Roadmap. This is really the foundation of the planning system and it's really what sets this planner apart. This roadmap is designed to take you from lack of focus to complete clarity and being able to set really focused, actionable goals. I found that this clarity is really the make or break between being able to make progress and stay focused throughout the year, which is why I've built it to be embedded in the planner. So this is really where I suggest starting when you start in your new planner and it takes you from reflection, really thinking about where you are currently in your life, all the way through to creating vision, taking control of your time through, you can see that you'll have a time study and then an ability to really become clear on what you want to add and take away from your schedule, through to creating routines, designing your week, and each of these have a series of instructions and prompts so that it's really a self-guided journey that I take you through. And this will take you up to setting your goals. Now, this section has been expanded in this latest version of the planner. Not only do you have a space for creating your general goal plan, but you can also create a Gantt view or what we call a Kanban board view which allows you to really easily visually map out and track and manage your progress of each of your milestones. I built in these views based on my experience as a professional project manager and realizing that so much of what I did in my professional career could be applied to my own life to really propel myself forward on my goals for myself. So I hope you love those pages as much as I'm enjoying starting to use them in my own planning. Now, if we move forward, we also have these annual pages for tracking important details from dates through to your wish list, which is really kind of like a bucket list, a place to dream big and think about small little moments also that you might want to have in your year. And then tracking the important details on your health, it's been so helpful for me to have this in one location and really hold myself accountable to all of those important metrics and milestones. And then jumping forward, also tracking your finances and being able to really have your financial health in a single location. Now, new in these versions, you now are able to also track your monthly finances and we'll get into that here in the monthly bonus pages, but those are linked here from your annual tracker. So let's jump into our calendar pages here. Now you have two views since this is the mid-year planner for your annual calendar. 
And then these link down to your monthly pages, which you can also get to by tapping on the tabs. So your monthly page links out to both your daily pages and your weekly pages, making it really easy to jump around in this planner. So if you tap on the week number, it'll take you down to your weekly page. And then if you tap on any day, it will take you to the daily page. From the daily page, you can go back to the week. So you can see all of these hyperlinks really make it easy to jump from one location to the next in your planner. So staying on our monthly page here, you have five bonus pages linked to this month. Now, the first is your planning page. You can come here and set your intentions, really think through what you want to focus on this month. And this also links back to your goal planning section, because as I mentioned, your goals really are the foundation for everything uh, that you do and that you plan. Now you also have a reflection page, which is really helpful for coming back at the end of the month and making sure you're being really intentional about how you spent your time and how you can improve moving forward. And then if we jump back, you have three additional bonus pages here on the month. You have your habit tracker, and then you also have a mood tracker here on the bottom. Jumping back to the month, you have your finance tracker, which I mentioned before. Now, this is a great place to set a budget, set some goals, and track your expenses throughout the month. And then finally, you have a blank page. Now, this is a very flexible space that you could use just for jotting down notes, or you could add any insert page on top of it to add your own custom layout uh, to track whatever is most important to you throughout your month. Now, one note I'll make on these bonus pages is use what you're excited about. Ignore what you don't want to use. I sometimes hear, hey, I love the planner, but there are so many pages here. How can I keep up with all of this? That's the perk of working digitally. You can choose which pages you use and which you ignore. You aren't carrying around a, a bulky book, something spiral bound. And so that's why we can have such extensive pages because you can just use what's most valuable to you. Now, jumping down to your week, you can jump to any day of the week here in the top menu just by tapping on the day of the week. And going down into our bonus pages, you have this weekly focus. It's a great way to clarify what you're going to be most focused on through the week. Make sure you're really clear on the milestones that you want to achieve within your week. And I typically use this page on Sunday. It gives me great clarity to move forward in my week and to be really effective with my time. Now you also have this new plan view. Now this view can be used in any way that you find most helpful. Some ideas are to use it for assignment tracking or lesson planning. If you're a teacher or student, it's a great layout for meal planning or planning out your workouts. Basically anything that you're going to want to kind of plan in detail for each day of the week, this is a really effective view. Returning to our week now, we have our wellness tracking for the week. Your to-do list management. Now, this is new for this version as well. This is a great place to have kind of a brain dump or a running to-do list. You can designate all these different categories for your life and just have a running list here. Now, the great thing, again, about digital is you can just lasso, copy, and paste this over to the next week to have it kind of a running list week to week. And then finally, you have a blank page just like the month. There's a ton of potential here, however you want to use this page, whether it's a scratch pad or to add a new layout. Now, jumping down to our daily page, this is where you can really have kind of an at-a-glance view for your day. I find this page really helpful when I have a block of focused work time. That's when I use it most fully to have my full mapped out schedule for the day. 
And you also have space here to add your intention, practice some gratitude, and you just have some prompts here to help you be more mindful throughout your day. Now, the final section we have here are your note sections. These custom sections can be used any way that works best for you, whether you want to use them for note taking or tracking a reading log, managing specific projects or some of your larger goals. You can see I have some ideas here, but each of these note sections corresponds with the numbered tabs at the top so you can easily jump to your divider pages from any page of the planner. And what you'll do is you'll just designate the section here and take that takes you to the section divider. And so you'd paste any templates right after this divider page. If you want more detailed information of how to use your custom sections, I'll link a video below for that. But you can use these custom sections with any of the templates. You can see there's a ton of templates to pick from in this planner. Now these are just single pages of the planner that you can duplicate and paste anywhere in your planner, whether after the weekly page it corresponds to or in their own custom section. There's a ton to explore here from different planning views down to things like an Eisenhower matrix or a Pomodoro time tracker down to a nutrition log. There's really a page for any focus you might have in your life, whether you're trying to get more organized, trying to read more, trying to start a workout routine. And then you also have some great options for taking notes as well. Each of these are linked to different variations of note pages and blank pages. Now the last big addition for this latest version is the completely redesigned sticker set. The sticker set really takes the function and customization of this planner to the next level, specifically through all of the widgets that are included. So let's tap over here. And you can see there are so many different sections. This is, I think the count is up to about 500 stickers included. I do have all of the color codes. You can see the colors have become a bit more muted in this set, which I'm really excited about. We'll do a quick flip through and I'll, I'll just pause to show you visually how this works with your planner. So you can see we have all of these monthly stickers so these are designed to fit perfectly in that right side margin on your monthly page. And so you're really taking what's, you know, a really kind of basic minimal layout, making it a little more decorative, or you can see with some of these, you're actually kind of adding different function of a habit tracker, a checklist. And in the case of these labels as well, um, these actually sit directly. Let's, let's take this one away so I can show you. These sit directly in this margin to uh, kind of set this, set this list apart and create a little bit more function here in each of your sections. So there's a ton you can do here with using these stickers to really kind of customize those more static calendar layouts. Now, when we move into your daily stickers, these are created specifically to sit over that right-hand margin. Let's jump down into a daily page here and you can repurpose this margin again, adding kind of a more decorative block and also kind of customizing what you're doing over there. So you can see there's a lot to choose from for your daily stickers, whether you want more color, more grayscale. And then the other thing you can customize is your schedule. A lot of times I don't like to manage my schedule by the hour. I like to manage it in blocks to give myself a little bit more flexibility. So you can just replace that center sticker there. Now, if you're working in GoodNotes, uh, the great thing is once you kind of have your customized layout all set, you can save it as an element. 
And then it's always there and it's really easy to customize your pages throughout the week. All you're doing is tapping into the element and adding in the saved element that you have on your page. And it makes it really easy to kind of make those customizations, settle on something, and then set it up quickly at the beginning of the week. Now, if you don't work in GoodNotes, I've still included all of these stickers in PNG format. And so you can easily place them in your planner and you can do something similar to Elements by just uh, toggling, selecting your full layout and pasting it on a blank page of the planner. So these stickers are available to you whether you work on an Android tablet or an iPad. They're just a little bit easier to use if you do use the GoodNotes app. So I also have a different schedule for people that maybe have a little bit of a later schedule. You can have one that starts at 9 a.m. and goes later. You can see I have a couple other variations to the schedule just based on things that, that you all have requested from me. And then we also have these labels. They work similar. You could customize whether you wanna customize this list or over here in, in this column, you could do that as well, but those are sized to fit perfectly there. And these are actually also sized to fit your to-do list for the week. If you want, um, rather than handwriting those, if you wanna place them there, you can do that as well. So I've really been thoughtful about how things are sized so that it's super simple to customize. Now. These weekly overlay layouts I love as well. Let me take you back to the week here. When you're here on this weekly layout, if you don't wanna use the full column and you wanna break it up a little bit, I'll show you, this is definitely the one I use most often, the schedule block. You can copy this and paste it right here. And this really takes that layout and it gives you more of that schedule block view. So all of these overlays are designed to overlay over your week. And you can see again with the GoodNotes sticker book, it's so nice because it's just sized perfectly for you. So you could set this here and it fits there in the layout. And then you also have the footer area as well that you can adjust. And you can see you have a ton of options for priorities and habits, some intention setting. You could add a footer there to track your meals, track your wellness. I've really been enjoying using the wellness tracker on my week. It's just kind of a simple view since I'm really working on my sleep and how that affects my mood. So I love just having that right there for myself. So you can see how it's just about limitless with the amount of customizations you have just with these widget stickers. Now moving forward from those widget stickers, these are more of your decorative labels, trackers, these can be used on any page of the planner, and there's a lot of potential with mixing and matching with uh, the labels and the icons. I'll show you a quick example of some of that. So you can see we have, you know, these labels here that are great. I specifically like using them on my weekly layout. It's kind of like a little time block here. And you could just write here that this is for workout or you could type or and then move forward here we'll come back to this you could grab something like this and paste it here and kind of mix and match and customize with some of the preset text labels that come with this so whether you're writing typing or kind of combining some of the stickers you have, you can create your own custom labels and sets. So you can see you have these. These are all little flags. The water trackers you can place anywhere or these that can be used as any generic tracker. 
you have these nice little notes that can be placed anywhere to make your you know most important reminders stand out. These are uh, more expanded labels or list notes. I really love these, um, just the two-tone look of them. I especially like writing on them with white. I think it just stands out really nice. Now these overlay boxes are probably the ones that I actually use most because I like the way that they work well for time blocking, but they are uh, slightly transparent. So you can, you know, stretch them across the page and you can stretch them to, you know, serve as time blocks as well. And they also work well if you just want to make things look a little more decorative. Sometimes I'll just you know, put them here to add a little pop of color over my days of the week. So that's why I use these so often, just because they they can be used in so many different ways. And so you have all sorts of shapes and they can be stretched and resized. These are cute little post-its. They kind of have a paper look and uh, you can see the shadow on them as well. And now this is again where we get into what I mentioned with just a lot of mix and matching potential. You can stretch these and place these labels in them. You have this outlined and black version, and then you also have this filled and white version. And so you can see how you're really able to kind of create your own aesthetic and create your own designs by mixing these. And then you also have all of these icons that you can use to mix and match with those as well. And one thing I did in this recent set that I really love with the black line icons is that they actually have a, a white background. So they look so nice when you place them on, you know, more of a colored background. They still stand out really nice. And then, of course, you just have your white outlines as well. And so you can mix these in so many different ways. And then you have these overlay pages as well. This is what I mentioned with the blank pages in your planner. You can basically take any blank page of your planner, whether it's your linked blank pages or just the, the one of the templates that you've duplicated. And look at just like that, I was able to make this into a line page now. Perfect for note taking. So I just have some basic overlays here and you can find more overlay pages in the freebie area of my shop. And there are some to purchase in my shop as well as kind of template packs. But you do have your basics here with a grid, a lined, and a dotted. And then for our final page here, you have all of these monthly labels. And these you can use anywhere in the planner, or you could, you know, use these more decorative ones to replace the more plain text months. And then you have your, your days as well. And then this is your final set of labels. And again, these can be mixed and matched with the icons. I've started using these to create cute little stickers with an icon and a mantra in them. And if you need any inspiration for how to use these, definitely take a look at my Instagram. I share all the time the pages that I'm creating and the ways that I'm mixing and matching things if you just need a little creative inspiration. So that's the overview of my planner. I hope this helped you to see all of the features that are included, give you some ideas of how you might be able to use this planner as a foundation for your goal setting throughout the year. I hope this overview was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below or reach out on my socials or via email. I'm always happy to help you choose the version that works best for you. Thanks so much for watching.